I should, I'm gonna give her one of these and at least see what we're doing. Welcome to the new set. Yeah, we're gonna just try this out for a while, see how it goes. And uh, we're roughly six feet apart. There's a table out here. We constructed a new set in a matter of minutes. <clears throat> so I mean, it's like it was already here and we just put up a banner and a table. I built that wall with my own two hands. We did. So we're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan Sean. We're gonna do, um, our top five available daily drinkers. People think nobody's gonna have a liver problem after this thing goes away. You are. This country will. <laughs> I'm gonna be 70 pounds heavier. I'm gonna have a drinking problem. A bigger drinking problem. Yeah, that's true. All right, so this started as uh, like an available daily drinker list, and then it turned and into- And then Dan started doing things. I'm, my picks are a little, more expensive than Sean's, I think, on average. You told me the limit, and then every single one of your bottles is within a couple dollars of that limit. Oh yeah, I said the limit for me yeah. to try to this stay- This is the only one that isn't. Basically, basically under. Some are at. You're the worst. One's, no, they're all at. One's over, actually, okay. All so, right, bottle Get number, number one, we don't. We only agree on one yeah. of the five. I actually, I don't hate no one's gonna be two of mine. yours. Okay, my, my fifth place. Okay. Number five. Yep. Is, is, because I never feel bad for drinking it. Oh, it was so close to the first attempt. No. Listen, dude. Oh, wow. A good long pour, a pretty damn good bottle flip. This is Old Forester single barrel store pick select. Oh, ooh, I forgot this is a good, is this first anniversary? Yeah. <laughs> you do feel bad about <laughs> drinking that. I like looked over, I'm like, wait, that one's signed. I didn't think this was the first anniversary. I don't I don't generally have a problem when I walk out to pick a bottle of whiskey to drink for an evening. I don't generally have an issue. I was gonna drink something different. Picking but... a store pick. So oh, here's the deal. Yeah, store picks are good. Here's the thing, store picks. Good low hanging fruit for Easy to bottle. rely on. Now, of them. is this one $45 and our limit was 40? We should have went over our requirements an hour mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. Here's our requirements too late in the video for everybody. Has to be available in most places. Store picks are available basically everywhere, almost. It has to be under $40. And here we are, we're the Brim Junkies, where the rules are made up and Dan doesn't listen. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the, what's the third? The third requirement is like, I don't know, you can drink it every day. I think. That would be the prerequisite for daily drinker. That and, would be the, there oh, you go. Man, Those are our three. Good. Name another, dude, what's another requirement? None. You did not rate the rules. It's your fifth place. See, so that's how. Too small batch. It's probably how I should have put that bottle I can't on flip table. that one, because there's no way it lands right. We'll see. It's, it's, we'll see. it's big. We'll see. Fifth place, okay. 1792 small batch. Delicious, <laughs> everywhere. $30? 35. 35. No, wait, it's either like. No, nope. we always 30. get this wrong. I think it's 30. It's 29.99 at the old Meyer. 30 bucks. They have cases of that stuff at our Can't local grocery wrong. store, so. Can't go wrong. Yeah. It's it's uh, a little, I mean, this is one that I usually recommend to people when they start drinking bourbon, because yeah. it's just really good, it's easy. accessible, it's cheap, delicious. It's real easy too. Here's the thing, I, I just realized that most of our bottles we picked are lower proofs. Yeah. Just realize it right now. Mm -hmm. These are, this is, dude, you know what I came up with a new title in the middle of the video? You know what it is? The best bougie daily drinkers, dude. That's the new title. I don't think mine are a bougie. Yours are. No, price wise, these are all bougie for dailies. Mm. Number four. Oh, well. One of these is gonna break. These are new glasses, too. Oh, it was so close. It doesn't land. Imagine though. if that would have landed. Too thin. Woodford Wheat. 
Woodford Reserve weeded, one of the greatest bottles of last year. What about that? Um, added to a new line, $37.99 in the state of Michigan. Hey, we'll just round that up to 40. I paid 40 for that one. $37.99 in the state of Michigan. That is fantastic whiskey. It's super good. It, oh, leaf, it follows um, the brown form and profile, which is also fantastic. Yeah. And yeah, it is great whiskey and it's $39.79. It's supposed to be available everywhere because it's a mainstay in the line right now. So, oh, that's your four? Mm hmm. That one should be easy. I should have moved up. Oh God, I really thought that was coming back. <laughs> <laughs> like that hit, and I was like, it is gonna. <laughs> oh. Little wild turkey rare breed. Bro bro broke the rules? Oh, whatever, a little bit. I broke a second, so I mean, you already broke it, so I went and got a different bottle, and that's wrong. why this is in here. Uh-huh, we stick to That's that. a good bottle of whiskey. It's fantastic. And it's, it's literally okay. everywhere. 116 proof, delicious whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, and it is everywhere. And it, I think out of everything that we picked, this one's a little bit more off-profile than any of them. Yep. This, this one's got a the bit most that, that off-profile. Yeah. But it's still well done. <laughs> the one Sean said couldn't be done. Well, looks well, like uh, I was right. <laughs> maybe it can't. Uh, 1792 bottled in Bond because it's drastically better than small bat. Wow, going hard at it today. As I can see it running down your face. Mm. Sometimes you spill one of your favorite store picks you've ever had right on your cheek. Yeah, sometimes you're just like, you know what? Maybe if I break it, I break it. People think it's so hard to long pour if you move the glass and they call it long pour. Dude, let me tell you something. Easy. Hater age. Game changer. Here's the deal. That's great ball whiskey. What's on that, Dan? $35.99? $36.99? I don't know about that. The non-store picks. The store picks are $39.99. I don't know about that. The non-store picks. I, I, now hear me out. I'm pretty sure I have one in there with a sticker that says $37.99. That's a great bottle whiskey. Also follows, somehow weirdly follows the brown form and flavor profile. Holy shit. All yeah, I know. Three what you of did. these taste the same. Yeah. Well, I know what you did here. Well, they're all really good, and that's. Did you Those know are what pretty you did? available everywhere except remote locations. I'm really nervous about the idea of a bottle flip on one of those bottles over there. Oh. It's too slippery. You got to get the up and the straight down, you know? Speaking of brown formant. <laughs> Guess, guess where we're at with that one. This has just become a bottle flip show. I don't know how or why, but it is. That's true. Anyways, I that was our whiskey of the year. Listen, it's got to get a little wild. We're not even allowed to go near each other. You got to start flipping shit. Every time I got to see someone that isn't my wife, so. <laughs> In 17 years. It's getting weird. Okay, whiskey of the year. I don't think this really needs to be prefaced with the fact that it's just amazing, good whiskey, 100 proof. Very cheap. Uh, nice and sweet, got good bite. All around her, great. That's the second cheapest bottle in our list. Mm -hmm. And that's a damn good bottle. Mm -hmm. I I didn't pick it and I shoulda. I'm gonna be honest. That's one we should have agreed on. I can't believe you didn't. The, I don't know which one I would remove from mine is the issue for any that. Any of them, pick any of them. <laughs> that's just so rude. That bottle's also everywhere. That bottle's also a lined mainstay. Yeah. So that means you should be able to find it. It's like 24 bucks, 25 bucks. It's one of my favorite products ever right now that Brown Foreman puts it's, out. It's one of the best products under $30 it's ever. Fantastic. Yeah. That's not even a debate, dude. Like my, my dad bought one and then was going to give it as a present and then drank it all. He was like, I can get another one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just do your second place and then we'll do both of ours okay. and then we'll do mine. I'm not flipping this one. Please don't. Because I feel like. Please don't flip that bottle. <laughs> Woo! No, there's Whoa. no way. I know if you flip this bottle, it lands neck directly onto the edge and then it implodes. Uh, yeah, this is going to hit and go yeah. and just shoot off. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this one, but Eagle Ranch. It's up here everywhere, though. It's in gas stations everywhere. It's here. literally in gas stations. So I, this It's is, in local grocery stores here. Yep. It's at corner stores this here. This is the mainstay that will always stay on my bar. I love it. I love the store picks of it. Um, especially yeah. when we get them, because it's not, it's feast or famine for us to get those. The store picks are feast or famine yeah, up here. These, I'll always have a bottle. What, what $32. $32 is what you paid for that. For 10 year old whiskey at 90 proof, it's Buffalo Trace. Basically a single barrel. Yeah, it is. Yeah. For $32. The number of do. That's your number two. So my number two, Sean's number one. This is not going to be a shocker for anyone. No. Especially because it's Sean's number one. Good do. <laughs> There's no flipping. That just gets slammed on the table. <laughs> That's like the judge at the Judge Judy when she's oh, just yeah. laying down the literal law and she. It's a $25 liter, sir. No, it's not. How much is it? 22. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how cheap it is. I just pull out money and they're like, take whatever you want. $21.99, I think, before tax. That's not bad. Yeah, in the state of Michigan, at least. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Liter, 100 proof. Dan likes to shit on it out loud. No, I put in second. 
And then I've what come to my realization. He, he drinks it blind, and yep. you're like, oh my god, it's so good. Listen, I've I've come to a place in my life as a man, in which I can accept my wrongs. A man. Early times is fantastic. That's my second place because 100 proof. Should listen, be first place. It had to be above this because this is more expensive, and that's it's, um, it's really close. It might be better. I don't know. It is. <clears throat> um, and I can get one and basically two thirds to three quarters of that for one of these. Which is interesting, and that's a liter, and that's a 750. It's really hard to beat. Brown Foreman's changed the game, and 100%. people are slowly realizing it. They have conquered and destroyed the cheap, good whiskey game. Dude, it's value, yeah. but doesn't taste like value. It's great whiskey. It's not breaking the breaking the bank. Yeah. I mean, the entire row series is that way. Yeah. As you know, we enjoy that a shit ton. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Behind the scenes. That, oh! that would have landed it. No, it wouldn't. That's now the cut into the video. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Lost Monarch, the greatest bottle of whiskey. Wow. Known to man. To be spilled on this table. $30. Oh, it's just not that not, good. Not and it's here. not that accessible anymore. Not $30. Here, listen, am I following our rules based on our prices? No. Nope. Am I following the rules, rules. based on the prices of Binnie's? Big store. Total wines. You have to huge drive store. to Denny's. Okay, this is uh -oh. very. Our set. This is the set was crafted in minutes, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the expectations can't be there high. There are so many mosquitoes around Dude, us. Dude, I know why it's cool. Wow. wow. They hatched. Oh, you're breathing too hard. Well, I did I'll carry something out here, so I'm sweating a little. Mm -hmm. um, the Lost Monarch is a burr eye, and it's made by Redwood Empire out in California. And also, good. so here it's $42. Um, and I know in Ohio, uh, I don't know if Lost Myers in Ohio. It's me just staring down the camera because you're breaking the rules. It's from California again. and it's in Michigan. It's probably in a lot of places. So you broke the rules on two of your bottles. Oh, and it smells just the best out of the two whole of your bunch. bottles you broke the rules on. I paid mm -hmm. $29.99 plus. Nope, to Michael Klein. Because he was in Chicago <laughs> and he was at a Benny's and he Got that in the Emerald Giant for me, and I paid 60 for both. So, 65 for both, I gave him tax money. So, that was a 32.50 for me. This all fits within the rules. I'm in Michigan, I purchased it for 32.50. Here we are, folks, and it's sold here. So yeah, these are our top five- Daily drinkers. Bougie daily drinkers. Just yours are bougie. Rare Breed's $45. Yeah, it's not bougie though. If you daily drank that. You would die though. Oh, it's a high proof. It's 116. I see where your head's going. Okay, your, value Your wise. bougie one is 90 proof. Oh. You put that entire bottle down. Yeah. And the Woodford Reserve's only 90 proof. Yeah. That's a good point. You bougie. But we all knew this. Everybody Nobody knew. came to this video thinking Dan stayed under 20 bucks on these vapes. <laughs> and you hate cheap whiskey. This is not the channel for people who like sub $20 whiskey. We got a good range though. Yeah. No, this is a, I mean, a lot of Brown Foreman profile products. Right yeah. here, and a wild turkey, so. Yeah, see, I got one different one in there. Well, there you go. I got a Barton. Where are the bourbon junkies? He's Dan, I'm Sean. I'm sorry not one of those bottle flips landed. I'm right, you're wrong. I almost landed the Woodford Reserve of all of them. Yeah. All right, we're the bourbon junkies. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, um, more videos coming Monday, Thursdays. Behind the scenes on Patreon. Behind the scenes on Patreon. Yeah. Got a cookie coin coming soon. Yeah, as long as that thing makes it out of Patreon, we're good. Yeah. I just, yep, yeah. okay, so. Proofs in the poor.